Okay, there we go. The practice is done. Now it is time to use the convolution interval for real differential equation, okay? So, well, to solve this problem, there are many other ways, okay? Well, look at that. That is exactly non-homogeneous second order um, differential equation with linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So like to solve this problem, there are lots of like different ways, okay? First of all, like from the chapter three, okay? We should use the characteristic on your left-hand side for corresponding homogeneous solution. And we're gonna set the uh, particular solution for your right-hand side. Since it's sine, then it will be uh, A times sine plus B times cosine four. Then you can solve it by two different ways, okay? Undetermined coefficient method or variation of parameter method, okay? You can do that, okay? The second one, we can solve this problem by the Laplace transform, right? Okay, so we can do it, okay? So for now, since we are talking about uh, chapter 6.6, .6, which is the convolution integral, let me show you how we can use convolution integral for this, okay? Here we go. So let me apply the Laplace transform both sides. It will be Laplace transform of y double prime plus two y prime and two times Laplace transform of y and right hand side as well. Laplace transform of sine kt. Is that okay? So like, let me do the lifting. It is two s squared, ys minus sy zero minus y prime zero. The second part as well, plus two times s, let me do directly simultaneous, okay? Minus two y zero, then the last one, two y s equal to, like look at right hand side. You should have to look at the number five sine 80, right? It is um, k over s square plus k square, okay? This is the Laplace transform. Then now we're gonna do the same process with the previous problem, okay? We're gonna apply all the initial conditions and all the initial conditions at t equals zero, okay? Then we're gonna gather all the y term. And let me write y as first and big parentheses and s square and plus two s and plus two. And that is equal to k over s square plus k square. Okay, I've been doing so far. And next thing is obvious, right? We're gonna divide by s square plus two s plus two on both sides. Then this will be y s equal to k over, uh, well, we're gonna use compression there, right? Then we have to combine as one single fraction times one over s square to s plus two. Are you okay so far? As I told you in the previous previous method, if we do not have like if, if we do not know the conversion integral, we had to do the partial fraction, fraction and then like we're gonna take the inverse law fraction, right? But this one, like since we are we already know about the conversion integral, we're gonna use that one. Okay, here we go. Then for my convolution, convolution integral, let me define the first part as f of s, that this part is g of s. Is it okay? Then, here we go. Look at this guy, okay? The solution curve, right, which is inverse Laplace transform of y s, is equal to is equal to uh, by the theorem uh, number one that we talked about before it is converse integral zero to t um, f of t minus tau times g tau d tau okay if you want to do like the opposite way that's totally fine because like you know the conversion integral has the commutative, right? And that's okay, okay? So, but like, you know, here, we have to find two function first, okay? F of t is inverse Laplace transform of uh, k over square k square, which we already found, uh, it is sine kt, right? Okay, that's it. And then I'm talking about number five. And then the second part. Uh, I wanted to write this one whole thing with a red red one. Give me one second. 
as I mark it as the red. <sighs> Tech knowledge, okay. And then what about GT? It is inverse function, inverse Laplace transform of one over S squared, two S plus two, right? And for this one, we have to do a little bit, okay? Because like your denominator can be factored. So like we can make it as the perfect square. So I'm talking about inverse Laplace transform of one over S, let me write everything, okay? Square plus two S and two S divided by two is two, one, one square is one, okay? Whenever you add something, subtract something, and there's two, right? Which is S square plus two S plus one plus one. This is perfect square, right? So it is S plus one square plus one, okay? Look at that, where is it? It is number nine, right? Number nine. Okay, so this guy is equal to uh, number nine, which is e to the a t times sine b t, right? e to the minus t times sine t. Okay, because a is minus one, came from here, and b is one, okay? And your numerator must be b, which is same with the, like this added one, right? And that's it. So now, like we're almost there, okay? We can plug in all this, like an f of t and gt into my convolution there, okay? So that is equal to integral zero to t, f of t minus tau, which is sine k t minus tau times um, g of tau, e to the minus tau times sine tau d tau. Is that clear? Okay, that's it. But like, again, if you want to do the like different way, I mean like in, uh, integral zero to t f of tau times g t minus tau, that's totally <laughs> okay. the practice, let me write, okay? Or we can say integral zero to t sine k tau and e to the minus t minus tau times sine t minus tau the tau. This is also totally fine. They are exactly the same. Okay. Thank you.